Welcome. Good afternoon to all of you. And a special welcome to Mrs. Alexandra van Huffelen, Vice Mayor and Elderman, um, sustainable, sustainable Development in her city, the Port of Rotterdam. We are here today for the official launch ceremony of Europe's first hybrid rototruck, the EcoTruck. May I take the opportunity to show you during this coming hour a PowerPoint presentation of our latest development. Oh. This was uh, different this morning. <laughs> Sorry, maybe. Excuse me. Sorry for uh, interrupting like this, but AJ, you can't be serious. You expect these people to sit here for an hour-long PowerPoint presentation about our new innovation? Yes. What we are about to experience is unique in Europe. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have a small misunderstanding here. Well, I know more about tugboats than PowerPoint uh, presentations. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you Captain Edward Green. Thank you very much, AJ. Why don't you have a seat in the audience and I'll save your green thoughts right here in my system. So why are we here today, ladies and gentlemen? We are here for a special reason. And that is the introduction of our newest innovation, the EcoTug. But first, let me take you on a journey in time. We'll go back to the steam tugs, up to the hybrid rotor tugs. So how did it all start? Watch this short co-tug history animation. The Delta During this ceremony, I sailed on board of these tugs. I was so proud that our tugboat company Adrian Koren has contributed to one of the seven modern wonders of the world.
I have a dream. The Rototuck is provided with three azimuth propulsion units, each driven by separate main engines. Two propulsion units are placed forward and one aft as an active skeg. A concept ideal for maneuvering in confined spaces. It has outstanding performance even in adverse weather conditions. And in many cases there are less tucks needed per job. It's time to change. Kotuk has always been at the forefront of new thinking. The hybrid rototuck means again a step towards sustainability and saving the environment. video has crashed too. No, I'm just kidding. So, ladies and gentlemen, what you have just seen is some co-tug history. How did we change a rotor tug into an eco-tug? First of all, we placed electric motor generators in shaft line. We uh, placed a battery pack. We put in a hybrid switchboard, which is the management system. And then we connected the main switchboard to the hybrid switchboard. And now we can sail hybrid, clean and efficient. But to officially make use of the Eco Tug, ladies and gentlemen, we need to invite the Alderwoman of Sustainability and Innovation of the city of Rotterdam. And that is Mrs. Alexandra Van Huffelen. And you, AJ, would you please come up to the stage? And in the meantime, Let's have a look at the ship that we've been talking about so far. It's right outside. And let me get on stage as well. Be right with you. Hi, Alexandra. Hello, how do you do? Hi, AJ. Captain. So how did you like the presentation? Very good. It's a lot better than a PowerPoint that lasts an hour, don't you I think admit, so? We did better. Yes. Well, Alexandra, I heard that you wanted to say a few words. How, so how much time do you need? A half hour, an hour? How about five minutes? <laughs> oh, even better. Are we ready for it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> okay. AJ, let's stand over here while she speaks. Okay, Bill. Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, before you stands a very proud Vice Mayor for Sustainability, I am very proud that entrepreneurs like Mr. Arjan Koren and together with us are willing to pick up a challenge, the challenge to transform Rotterdam into a clean, green and healthy city. Arjan Koren of Kotak and I have regularly met within the Rotterdam Climate Initiative Association the Rotterdam Climate Initiative Association is an initiative that creates a movement in which government, the Port of Rotterdam, Delta Links, our branch organizations of large industries, and our environmental agency work together to achieve a 50% CO2 reduction in the Port of Rotterdam, adapt to climate change, make sure that we keep our feet dry, and strengthen the Rotterdam economy. As a city, we simultaneously tackle themes, so as improving air quality, which also is something that's been done by the new invention of the family Koren, reducing noise and creating more green areas in the city. Last December, 14 companies in the port, together with our former Prime Minister, Mr. Ruud Lubbers, and myself signed an agreement to make the Rotterdam port and industry more sustainable. It's all about projects that should lead 
to new investments. For example, in renewable and efficient processes, in renewable resources, and in efficient logistics. It's no wonder that Artyom Koren, who stands here next to me, as an ambassador for sustainable inland shipping, has also signed this agreement. As a city, we are very proud that here in Rotterdam, which is mostly known as an industrial city, many examples of projects are, can be found that really work on innovation and greening our economy. For example, there's the gate terminal, an LNG terminal at the Maasvlakte. We have created a steam network in the Botlek area, where in collaboration with, uh, for instance, the port of Rotterdam, steam is transported from one industry to the other to reduce energy and reduce CO2 emissions. And we have the transport of excess heat from one of our incinerators to heat more than 50,000 households in Rotterdam. And I could go on with many more examples. All these efforts are urgently needed. In Rotterdam, we have more challenges than in the rest of the country to make our environment greener and healthier, to reduce emissions of CO2, and to be sure that we keep our feet dry. In corporations with our, of, with our partners and companies like Koter, it is of great value. It transforms our economy, makes it stronger, and provides for a better environment for the Rotterdam citizens. Today, we vision a very, very good example of the vigor displayed by our industry. With the EcoTalk RT Adrian, and we're seeing it behind me, Rotterdam is now the proud owner of the first hybrid tugboat in Europe. In the movie we just watched, it was very much visible how the family business Koter works on innovation and sustainability. And these two values are an important part of what the strategy is of Rotterdam. The result is, is that we now have in the port of Rotterdam a ver very environmentally friendly, noiseless, fuel saving tugboat. And one that is also capable of operating in a zero emission mode. Like so many companies in Rotterdam and in the Rotterdam area, Koter realizes that there, there's also money that can be made with a greener economy. And I therefore congratulate all staff of Koter and especially Artyan Kore very much with this great achievement. Thank you so much. So now there's work to be done, I guess. Yes, you better believe it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Are you excited? Very excited. Yes, are you excited, ladies and gentlemen? Yay! Well, to tell you the truth, so am I. Because it's a very special moment. We are about to launch, as you said, the first hybrid tugboat in Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to count down. On the screen, you'll see the numbers and the countdown with us. Nine, eight, put your hands above the button. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. A new era. And now, look over here. Oh, wow. It's time for the Eco Tug song. Let's go this way. Welcome to New Wall on this special day and it's collective. Kind of we are proud to say that we now present our first hybrid truck, our Adrian. Safe journey and good luck. We're committed to sustainability, an important move, improving full economy. We have optimized hybrid technology, our global policy. We're making it work from Europe to the world. It's green, it's new, it's the wish that comes true. Innovation all the way, this eco talk is here to stay. Harvard and powerful, green
Let's welcome here our Adrian. It's a step ahead for the environment. We bring proud and we're showing that we care, a vision that we share for the future. Yes, it's time to change and code it takes a lead. We have the hybrid time that's part of our code of see responsibility for our planet. Nieto, a name to remember. Give her another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Wasn't she good? Very good. Excellent. AJ. Tell me, Edward. It's time for a party. Indeed. What kind of a party are you planning? Well, we have our uh, annual herring party downstairs, so I like to invite all the guests to go downstairs to the gate, to the tent, and enjoy the herring party. Um, you can also have a look at the hybrid uh, Adrian, which you just saw on the screen. She's there as well. But let me first uh, go on board uh, with Alexandra van Huffelen, and you can follow afterwards. Thank you very much for your attention, and I'd like to see you in the tent for the herring party. Thank you. Thank you, AJ. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, just go down the stairs, go out to the back, and enjoy the herring party.